here we have a motherboard from an all-in-one Lenovo model number C460. It was mailed over here because of a password lock. Customer forgot his firmware password and he wants it fixed. Now the first thing I want to do is locate the BIOS chip. Where is the BIOS chip located? Let's check out this chip right here. That's not a biased chip. And there's one more that we can check. This one here. And yes, that's a firmware chip. This one is the 25L202-6E. Let's desolder the chip and we're going to program a new firmware onto that chip. Again, this is Lenovo C460. Right, and pin number one is right here. So I'm going to mark the board right here. And let's go ahead and desolder the chip. Now what we're going to do to reprogram the chip is we're going to solder that chip onto an adapter. We sell those adapters. We usually use them for MacBooks, but we're going to use it for that chip as well. You can use QFN chips or you can use SOP chips. And they accept two sizes, the smaller one and the bigger one. So we're going to see which one will work for that chip. And once we solder the chip onto this adapter, then we can plug the adapter onto the programmer and we can read from that chip and write to that chip. We cannot connect the chip directly to the programmer, so it must be soldered onto the adapter first, and the adapter will fit onto the programmer. So we have this size, which is an 8x6, and we have this size, which is a 6x5. Which one will work for that chip? This one right here. If we use this, it's for a bigger chip. So we're going to do it like this, and we have to note where pin number one is. And it's on the bottom left. What about the board? We can tell that pin number one is right over here. So let's solder that chip. Now we're going to plug the adapter onto the programmer, just like that. We're going to lock it. We're going to plug the programmer to the computer. And now let's go over here. And we're going to try to detect what chip we have. And right now the chip that we have is the 202. 6E, SOP8, select. So now that we selected the chip, let's go ahead and read from the chip and I'm gonna create a backup copy of that firmware with the password. We're gonna read from the chip and read. So that's the file right here on the left. That's the content of the file. And we're gonna save it. We called it C460 old and now we're going to open up the good firmware open the file and now we're going to program that firmware onto the chip so we're going to hit the program button and program programming successful The programming is done. We're going to solder that chip back on the board and the job is done. Before we solder the chip, we need to prep the pads. Assuming we still remember where we took that chip from right here.
And now, of course, we need to desolder the chip from the adapter. And on the board, pin number one should be right here, next to that dot. Very nice. So that's it, the programming is done. We took out the chip, we got a firmware for that chip, the bias chip. We reprogrammed it and soldered the chip back on the board. Right now we're not gonna be able to test the computer because the customer mailed over the motherboard like this. No CPU, no RAM, no power button flex cable. We do not know which connector is the one for power, but we did the job. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.